So I've just had the phone call that I've been waiting for. My manure and my compost has been delivered at the plot shop. Let's go over there. Forever the bird rescuer. So I'm in the study and I gotta be honest, it's a nice day outside, but it's still cold and I've got so much to do that I've decided that I'm gonna spend a few hours just potting on, bringing things on and sowing seeds. And this will be where I'll be doing a lot more of the lives and it's gonna be redecorated in the next week. So I've got some time off. I'm gonna do some great videos and I might even fit a live in as well. So what I've done today is I've already sown some um, garlic but it's not just normal garlic, it's wild garlic. So I had some little bulbs sent to me, I purchased them, and I've potted them on here now, and then later on, I'll pot them out into one of the plots, but they can spread and spread and spread. So I will control them into, um, I've got like a metal barrel, a square sort of tank that I'm gonna use, and hopefully they'll, they'll be okay in there, but I'll give them a good feed every year, and that's the plan anyway. So what else I'm going to talk about is oh, this compost that I've bought. So I'll pop it on the screen now. And I bought it last year as well. And i got to be honest, it was £5 a sack, which I think, you know, that's really good considering what's going on at the moment. Um, with the prices, they're crazy. But I have to say, it's, it's, a, it's amazing stuff. Now, I sowed some um, seeds yesterday and it was still barky rubbish. This stuff, this is what I got out of... The bark that I bought, uh, the bark, it pretty much was bark. This compost that I bought yesterday was absolutely crap. And it had all these stones in it, pieces of bark. And you know the score, we're all going through the same thing. However, this stuff is absolutely fantastic. And, you know, I haven't sieved it. I hope you can see that. I haven't sieved it. I haven't done nothing to it. And I bought it last year. And I gotta be honest, I put a lot of it on my beds and the crops were fantastic, but it's perfect for sowing as well. I went over to the allotment today and I obviously, I, oh God, I wheelbarrowed sacks and sacks of manure and bought manure and compost ready for the polytunnel build. And I wanted some nice beds and I wanted to have a good start because obviously that soil in there has been baked and baked and baked. And I want to have some nice raised beds in it. You know, I like a raised bed. I'm going to be an old man one day, so I'm, I'm future-proofing. So this compost that I want to show you about, like, remember when compost used to be light, fluffy, goodness, and it just didn't have all those rubbish pieces that you had to keep picking out. It was a lot, it's a lot of work now. By the time you sift a bag, one third at least is gone. So anyway, what I'm going to do is I'm going to sow some... Now, I'm supposed to have sown these... Um, in January and I forgot uh, the seeds I've got all over this desk are all seeds I found that I plan to sow and I haven't so these onions are called um, long red flowers that's Louie and Charlie they're here as well so my if you hear the dogs clipping around on the floor that's them um, these are called um, long red florence now you can sow these as a nice red onion but my plan is that I'm going to sow them as spring onions and you can do that with them as well I'll pull off most of them and then I'll I'll, bulb, I'll let the last one or two bulb up. You know, a bit like how Charles Dowden does it. So that's the plan anyway. I also got some other things that I want to show you as well. 
So after seeing on um, Muddy Boots, Nigel's and also um, Steve's at Digwell Greenfingers, they rate these so well. I know other people got them as well. I know Terry King used them as well. And they all said, like, you won't regret it. So I've invested in two of these. Now, these will be used to start off my um, tomatoes. Now, when do we sow those tomatoes? It's, 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 everyone's saying it's too late, it's too early. But normally by now, God, they're, you know, they're so high in the, the Vitapod, which is by here. Um, but I'm holding off because obviously I don't want to be using my grow lights as much. So the plan is maybe next week I'm going to start my tomatoes. And there's going to be a great video coming out where I'm going to show you some amazing tomatoes that I growed last year. And also some new ones that are, are they fantastic. And I'll show you one now that Audrey from Real Food Comes Dirty. Um, go take a look at her channel. I'll put a link of the channels in the description. But she sent me this one. It's called an Orange Accordion. And it's from, you know, Baker Creek. So I'm really looking forward to that. And she rates that one really well. So I'm going to do a lot of canning tomatoes this year. And I'm going to show you how I can later on in the season. And also how I make that beautiful ketchup that I've shown on my Instagram. If you're not following my Instagram, you're missing out. I post on there almost every day of updates. And, you know, just go and have a look. I'll pop it by here now. Go take a look. I am going to pop over the allotment in this video, so don't worry, there is going to be some allotment in it. It's not going to be me, all me inside the study. So we'll do this, and then I'll pop over the allotment. So, and I also need to go shopping and get some summer bulbs, some more things. I promised I wasn't going to do it, but I'm, go I'm going to do it. I have to do it. So I'm going to take you along as well and show you the summer bulbs that I bought this year. Right, let me show you what I've done so far. So I haven't sifted, like I said, all I'm going to do is I'm going to be careful to sow these um, long red florins and they're beautiful, beautiful onions, but I'm going to use them, like I said, as spring onions. Let me take you down. So I've got these red, um, long red florins and I'm going to put a few in each uh, module. Now these are those fantastic um, container-wise trays. So I'm going to put a few in each and then the plan is I'm going to plant them out as bunching in their little modules in spring. Now you can do this as well with like normal spring onions as well. I tend to thin them out a little bit more but these are perfect and I'm hoping that this will be the next succession of onions that I do. I've already got um, white Lisbon and I've got also, oh, I've got two others as well. I've got the Lilia, which are beautiful as well. I'll show you those on the screen now. So the Lilia are fantastic again. They're like a sweet spring onion. They're red and I love them. They remind me of my nan as well because her name was Lil Lillian. So I always like to sow them and they remind me of her when spring is coming. So I'm going to cover this all over. I'm going to have to get some more compost to finish off covering it up. And yeah, I'm absolutely loving it. Am I growing too much of the wrong things? And this year I'm going to be focusing on things I really, really like. And cabbages are going to be one of them. I love cabbages and I've got so many different ones to try this year. But there's one that I really want to try. And this is the, it's called the Sons, Sonsma. Um, RZF1, it's a white cabbage and it's from Just Seed and I'm hoping that this will be a winner this year. Got loads of things to show you. Also Audrey sent me these as well, which are called um, Amaranth Pink Beauty. God, look at those. It looks like a bit like a chard. Look how bright pink they are. I'm going to finish this and the next time you see me will be over the plot. Freezing cold. So I popped in Wilkinson's quickly and I thought I'd pick up those summer bulbs. I tried my hardest to stay from those seeds. You know, it's like it's a magnet and I tried my best. Then I found the summer bulbs. I ended up looking through and found some dahlias. Then I found some more dahlias. Then I found some more dahlias. You see where I'm going with this. Picked up some summer bulbs. Then I went on to the lupins and yeah, you can see what I did. I just got over the top and I thought I just put a full color flush in. Then I found these lettuce seeds, and I'm a sucker for lettuce, but I popped them in as well because I thought I'd give them a try. £68 later, I'm heading back to the plot. I'll never learn. Then I popped in my grow, green grocers because I found these potatoes last year, and I want to plant some this year as well. Look at this. One of the plots has had this delivered, and it's absolutely gold. 
So we're back at the plot and yeah, I've, I've look what I've bought. So I've bought loads and loads of dahlias, lupins, and yeah, <laughs> I said I was only going to get a few. So some of them will be potted on, some will be planted out in the next couple of days, some now. I really need to get the compost now that I brought over this morning down to the plot, some of it anyway, and mulch some of those beds. There's nothing like putting a nice layer of manure on the top, a nice layer of compost on, and you know that bed's ready for spring. <laughs> I tell you I'm not a spring chicken anymore. <sighs> so the plan, I am going to put a layer on um, manure, bagged manure, then I'm going to put a layer of compost on, but underneath that, let me show you what I always add. So this is called Grow Organic. This whole sack will feed all my beds. I just give it a good sprinkling on. It gives it a good start. And the feed in this is supercharged. I highly recommend it. So if you've got this far in the video, well then. But the stuff that I use for on my beds, potting on, and also sewing into is this stuff. It's a Vitax Q4. And I tell you what, honestly, I've already shown you the quality. Look at this, it hasn't been sieved. There's no bark in it, there's no stones in it. There's nothing in it except for goodness. And I'm not sure, you know, how long this will be around for, but I get from my plot shop, five pound a bag, which is crazy. You know, some people are paying like nine, 10, 11, 12 pounds worth a bag. But this stuff, it served me well last year. I didn't really mention it last year because I thought it might be a flute because, you know, it could just be one batch, but I found this batch again. It's been delivered in. I opened it up. I was like, oh, thank God. It's good stuff again. I really miss having that nice, rich compost instead of having all this. It's just, you know, it's mostly wool, and I get what they're trying to do, bulk it up, but it's crap. It's rubbish stuff. This stuff, I highly recommend. So if you can get in your area, I would go and get some, honestly. Best thing I ever bought. And it also contains the Vitax Q4 premium food in it as well. So you know it's good stuff. You know it's good stuff. So I had it last year and it was really good. So maybe this is the last of the stop. But if you can get in your area, go get it. Oh, look at that, honestly. Tell me that is not a sight of beauty. Pure virgin soil. And I'm just, I just love it. It's one of my favorite things to see. And I did half a bed here. I've got some leaks in here that I'm gonna pull now this week. And yeah, I'll finish off doing the rest of that. But yeah, oh, look at it. What a, look at that. So this one desperately needs a good feed. I mean, the shallots are doing okay. There's a lot of eggshell in there and bits of grit and stones. And there's also some biochar in there as well. However, out of all the beds on my plot, I would say this one is in dire need of a feed. This one had the sweet corn in it. It had the squash plants in it. It's had onions in it. It's had shallots in it. It is crying out for a good feed. And as you can see, it's dropped immensely. I mean, that was to the top before the corn went in and everything else. But over time, it drops down. And then, the next time you see it, it'll look like this. Ta-da! 
It's those little things though, isn't it? Honestly, it's those little things. I don't know why I like it so much, but I'm just gonna show you one more time. The leaks in this bed that have come back considering I had allium leaf miner in it and it knocked them really, really hard. But these are gonna have to come out. There's some grass growing in there. The Savoy cabbages are battling through. I tell you what, they are battling through. They're not looking too bad on here. But they're having, you know, they've took a bash in. But this one will be fed as well. And also the garlic. Garlic's coming up okay. I've seen other people that are worse than this, and I've seen others that are better than this. Really upset about this, like I mentioned before. But there's a little gap there now that I will fill in with either some onion sets or some um, shallots. That's the plan with those two anyway. But there are a couple of little gaps I can fill in. Same year, the strawberries are coming through. They took a batter with the frost again. This will be fed as well with some compost, manure. And I've still got the manure, manure down the bottom as well. So I did give a light dressing of some of the beds before winter and they desperately need to know. But there's some that I don't want to feed because I want to sow carrots in one of the areas and I don't want it to be overfed. Because if you overfeed them by putting loads of compost and feed on, they fork really bad. And you want that soil, you know, nutrient low really so that they'll drop down they'll keep going down the root will go down and down and down looking for food that's what a carrot wants to do it's a root that goes all the way down looking for food you don't want all the food all around it and then it all spurs off and gets excited that it's getting too much food that's my explanation of a carrot I'm walking around and I'm finding more jobs that need to be added to the list that's gone down and it's gone back up you know that's what happens. It happens all through the year. Don't be fooling yourself that you think, oh, God, I've got all my jobs done. There'll always be about 20 more that you're going to add back on. The greenhouse desperately needs a good scrubbing now, a good cleaning. So I'll get, I've will get. i got my algon in the shed and I'm going to give it a good old wash of that, leave it on, scrub it all back down, get my Bosch pump back over, connect that to the barrel and I can hose it all down. So, yeah, that's one of the plans. The cherry tree is now starting to bud up and it's lovely to see a lot more on it now. It's really taking shape, which I love. It's got a good bit of height on it and I'm hoping, hoping, hoping for more cherries this year. I had one cherry off it, one cherry last year, but it was a new tree. I'm hoping this year it's had a good, it's had a good bedding in and I'll get some good cherries on it. Same as the plum. The plum, I had one plum, but the plum tasted okay. So it's all budding up now, as you can see. So I'm really pleased as well. Spring is definitely starting now because I've just collected two eggs. The chickens have hatched their first two eggs of the season. So we all know spring is definitely nearly here. I'm Danny and this is the Grapevine Garden.